We turn to overseas now to a seismic change in British politics. James Longman is live from London with what this means for one of the U.S.'s most important allies and what comes next. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Rebecca. Britain is waking up to an historic election result this morning. The governing Conservative Party of Rishi Sunak has been defeated in a monumental landslide by the Labour Party. And its leader, Keir Starmer, is now the Prime Minister. He is meeting as we speak with King Charles at the palace as per protocol. The King will ask him to form a new government. He will go to Downing Street and stand outside that famous number 10 door to speak to the British people. He is 61 years old, a former uh, public prosecutor. I think fair to say not seen as massively charismatic, but he's a stability candidate after 14 years of Conservative rule. And the story of this election is the scale of the Conservative defeat. They have never seen anything like this, not since 1830 when the party was founded. Some huge names in British politics have lost their seats, like the former Prime Minister Liz Truss. People in this country are angry with the Conservatives, angry at Tory uh, infighting, angry at the way Brexit was handled, angry that public services seem to be on their knees and angry at a spiralling cost of living. Uh, Keir Starmer has a massive Massive mandate, but he's also got a massive challenge ahead. Gio? A dramatic shift there in the UK. All right, James, thank you so much.